What's going on and welcome back to the channel. Now I have a question for you. If you had to pick one of these, which one are you going to pick? Um, I've kind of been going back and forth with it for a little bit and they both have the shark lock mechanism on it from Dimco. Um, Andrew Dick, I think it's Andrew Dimco. Um, he created the shark lock. They did a little thing with the uh, flytanium and then they created the arcade right here. So that's really kind of cool. Both knives are pretty phenomenal and obviously the 20.5 is very well known like it's a lot of people have them they're out there a lot of people own them um, buy them um, they have a lot of scales for them they have a lot of aftermarket stuff um original goat scales i need to get me a set of them bad boys because they look phenomenal i've seen people with their knives with the original goat and they look awesome so i'm looking into getting some i gotta you know obviously get the funds for it um working on it working on it. and also the lynch clip um lynch i uh, just the uh, a company i can't remember lynch something um if you go like if you google it, lynch clips like it'll come up but um obviously this is not a deep carry pocket clip as you can see right here which obviously stinks because you have probably a half inch sticking out your pocket but yeah obviously lynch has has you covered they have a deep carry version of this but um if you don't really care about that if you don't care if it's a deep carry all the way that's not a big deal and it plus if you're left-handed they also come with an extra pocket clip so you can just switch it over here and set it right here because this one obviously ain't going to work because just because the way it's designed and everything. So I thought that was pretty cool about that. Like that's kind of thinking about other people, left handies, because, you know, there may not be many of them out there, but there's enough, right? So that's what I really liked about that. Now, this is pretty cool because I like the swappable scales. Uh, it also comes with the black scales. Um, obviously, it came with this, the, the yellow Altum ones that came with it. Um, actually attached to it and everything. The only thing I don't like is I don't think it has a swap. It's not swappable. It has another screw hole right there. You can obviously see. So I thought originally that it was like ambidextrous. Like you could just swap it out, bring it over here somehow uh, on the other scales. But then I started looking at the other box. I was like, okay, so I was wrong because the other scales don't have the holes in them. So I think you have to buy particular scales for this. I haven't looked. I looked into it. This, what I look into, I, I looked up like if it was swappable, like if it, if they made swappable scales or anything yet for it. Um, they haven't, I haven't seen anything yet. I just started looking up a little bit before the video because I didn't like that because it, it has the hole right there. I saw that. I'm like, okay, I don't like that. They don't have it yet. Um, they may have to, you may have to special order certain scales for it in order to be able to switch it over. Or you could probably just, I was going to say drill it out yourself, but and then you're going to have a hole on that side. That's going to look stupid, right? So don't do that. So I don't know. I'll have to do more, a little more research into it before I do the final review on this thing. Because it's kind of got my head, you know, a little, little wonky. Because I don't know why they have a screw right there. But it's not reversible. You know what I mean? Um, so I'm going to look more into that. Look out for the final review. You kind of I'll hopefully have that answer for you. Or for myself, obviously, if anything. Um, but I do like the pocket clip, how it is deep carry on this. Obviously, right out the gate pretty good pretty nice this one i didn't like so much to begin with just because of the bill on it it's got that little we obviously have that right there little little divot little dip and then you have that just straight sideways kind of almost almost point down i don't like that it kind of gets caught in my pocket trying to shove it in and i just yeah not, not a real big fan um i do like the aluminum part it's pretty smooth not smooth like you're going to get slippery and you're going to slip off. You know, it, it feels pretty good is what I'm trying to say. Um, obviously, there you go. There's the lock mechanism. You can see it on both. There you go. Same thing. Exact same thing. Down to the texture on the actual locking mechanism right here. Exactly the same. So, um, jimping I like on both of them. But I think I like it better on the arcade. I really do. It feels a little more aggressive. It doesn't look like it, but it, it really is. Like where it's kind of... Where they kind of milled it out, it kind of got the divots right there. It's almost like a square, like almost like a 90 degree almost, something like that. It's not really 90 degree, like coming up out. I don't know if you understand what I'm talking about. Like as in the divot, and then you come up out the divot, come to the peak of the jimping. Um, it feels like it's a, almost like a 90 degree, like I said. Like you have some grip to it. Like it does feel really good. I don't know how to explain it any better than that. If you have one, you know what I'm probably talking about, but it feels good. You're not going to slip. It just, it feels good. Like, and not saying anything against this one right here, 20.5, uh, because it feels pretty good too. 
but that jimping on that for some reason just works better it feels better um but both are still good jimping don't get me wrong i do love the blade shape on the the 80 20.5 i always want to say just 20.5 but it's 80 20.5 whatever whatever right it all it's all the same but um i just like the way the blade shape is uh, that shark lock or shark foot i just kind of i thought it was kind of a cool little name obviously like a sheep foot but shark you know shark foot get it no okay my bad but i just thought it was kind of cool i thought it looked pretty good and that's why I kind of, I think if I had to pick, I'm going to go with this bad boy right here because of all the variations out there. The price points are going to be different. This one is 210 This one right here specifically is 175 Like I said, there's a lot of variations out there. Different scales, different steels. Like the, it's, it's lots of variations, like I said. So anything you want for this, they just about have it. It seems like every color wise. The original goat, like I said, scale wise, they have, I think they're titanium. They have a lot of different variations. They look great on them, and I'm definitely going to be getting me a pair soon, hopefully. If I'm lucky enough, I just like I said, i got to get the funds together, kind of get them that way. Um, obviously, the steels are different also. This is 3V, and this is S35VN. Now, I do like, you can't see it because that light, my bad, my bad. So, I do like the S35VN better, in my opinion. More experience with it, and I have more knives than that. So that's why I kind of like it. <clears throat> I kind of like it. I have this in 3V, and I think I... I don't know if I have anything else in 3V. I don't think I do. I think this is the only one. Like, it stays sharp. Like, I, I you know, I stroked it a few times, and that's all I've had to do, and it's just definitely kept the edge on it. So, I can't say too much about the 3V. It works pretty well. Um, thumb studs. Now, I like the thumb studs, the way they look on this. I think they look better. They're just small. I don't like that they're that small because I feel like I have problems like with my thumb flipping. Obviously, it's taken me a few days or honestly about a week and a half to really get good on the flipping, but to get used to it, I guess, to adjust. But I like the bigger thumb studs on the 8020.5. And I also like that it has a thumb hole right here. I think that's pretty cool. I'm always, I always like the thumb hole. Um, I like the reverse flip and all that type of stuff too with it. So if anything that has a thumb hole, I'm usually going to go with. Um, I do like how it also came with the thumb studs. That's kind of nice too. Kind of switch it up a little bit. That's I don't know, that's just me though. Um, my personal favorite front front flippers. I don't think that's going to work on this little boy, <laughs> this bad boy right here. But you know maybe one day right. Maybe they'll switch it up. But um, like I said, if I'm going to go with something, I'm going to go with the AD twenty point five. Even though they are the both the same locking mechanisms, they both have a lot of very like different things about them. But they also like like great things. Like they also like I said, if I could take some of this knife and this knife, I'd create another knife. That's the best of both worlds because they both have really really great things about them. But I'm going to go with the 8020.5. I think overall it's a better knife. And oh, well, it's my opinion. If you have a different opinion, let me know down in the comment section. I'm all for someone liking the other knife. They're both great knives. Um, yeah, that's all I've got. So if you like the video, just give it a thumbs up or uh, you know, leave a comment. Thanks.